slim. Uh, <laughs> I'm going to go through my current stretching routine that I've been doing. So I guess I've been, I neglected this for quite some time in my jiu-jitsu, but flexibility is really important. Uh, when you study matches, you see some guys, some of the guys are the best guards in the world. Let's say the Meow brothers, for example. There's points in time where they recover their guard, where if they didn't have their flexibility, they have they would have actually had their, their guard passed. So it makes a massive difference having flexibility. I'm gonna go through stretches that I think will help for, for guard, okay? And the first one, so the standard one that people do for this is like, they put their foot here and they stretch like this. And yes, this will stretch your uh, hip rotators like this. But to me, stretching has to be actually very um, particular to the exact movement that you wanna use, especially something like this, where we're actually trying to stretch the hip capsule where if you change the angle of the, the, the leg, it actually stretches a different part of the hip capsule. So people are stretching here like this a lot of the time. I see this all the time, but I actually don't think that's that useful of a movement. So if Rob's trying to pass my guard, yeah, sorry, it's slim. He's trying to pass my guard. Like this, let's say he's coming around here and he's getting in close, like so. Me being able to put my foot here, like across my body like that, doesn't really help me. Okay, so close the gap a bit. What I want to be able to do, is get my foot up here and get it in front to be able to push him away. Okay, not flexible here, but actually like out and across. Okay, so when we look at that angle for our actual stretch, we don't want to stretch like this, although yes, you feel that. I need my foot to the outside of my, of my shoulder. Okay, so when someone's passing, I need to bring my foot to the outside of my own shoulder. So again, I'm working on this, so I'm not amazing at it yet. I'll be able to bring it outside and push, not across here and push. This is gonna be useless. Okay, so when I stretch, I try to go nice and wide, get my right shoulder down towards the, the foot here like this. And try not to like twist, okay? Because this is not right. We wanna still have our shoulders facing down towards the mat. So we wanna go here like this. That's our first stretch. Another one, um, which is gonna be useful for so I've got a north-south, Rob. I'm actually pretty flexible in this direction. Rob's just passed towards north-south. I want to be able to bring my knee underneath to push up and make space, okay? So I need to be able to bring my knee like kind of almost behind my shoulder. But again, Rob's really close to the gap here. If I'm flexible here, my shin can get in front and make space to allow me to recover, okay? And the way I stretch that, basically getting my shoulder, like put my hand inside under my knee and try and get my shoulder as far down towards my foot as I can, like this. Uh, this also can help with um, shooting triangles too. If you're flexible this way, pulling your knee up and foot back, you can shoot through for the triangle. Whereas if you weren't flexible, you get stuck here and you can't get that same range. The classic old hamstring stretch, like this. Um, you know, it can be one hand or it can be opposite. This is this is quite actually quite useful for preventing stack passes. Okay, so if wrong, slim goes underneath the legs like this, and just just sort of stack me forward. Okay, my hips are going to keep lifting, so my back starts to get exposed. The less flexible I am. Okay, so keep going. I'm gonna keep lifting my hips until my feet hit the, the mat, okay? And when Rob can get behind my lower back here, this is really hard for me to recover, okay? You'll see some guys like Michael Lange who can basically keep their hips on the mat and have their foot back posting. So when Rob, you know, if I was that flexible, which I'm trying to get to, if Rob was trying to lift my hips but my foot's planted here, you can see that's preventing him getting my hips higher. Much harder for him to get underneath me if I've got flexibility in this direction. Okay, so that's just the, the basic hamstring stretch should should cover that. Yeah, but it's really a, actually not your hamstring, it's your, it's your nerve that you're stretching. Um, what else? Oh, adductors. Um, so adductors, you can do like the, the, the split sort of action, or I even don't mind just doing it from here, like so. Um, basically trying to get our hips towards the mat here like this. If Rob was going double unders again, or he's coming around the legs, like so, the wider I can have my leg, so I need to post my left leg on the mat, 
the more I can do the splits, the harder it is for Rob to get around the corner and pass. Yeah? If I'm really inflexible, I'm here and he's already coming around. Okay, so especially when they go under the legs and they're getting around, we need this adductor flexibility to try to recover our guard. So back can be stretched. I like to do it like this. I find the other, the split, doing the splits a lot. Of, for some reason that irritates my knee a little bit, but now you can if you want to come up onto your feet. Doing the splits like so. And I also like to stretch my feet. I've been doing this a bit more lately to deal with foot locks. Yeah, so. yeah. A couple of different ways. One, to, to stretch for the outside heel hook, I put my knee on the heel to actually turn the heel out a bit. Reaching to my toes and pulling back. It's sort of like a toe hold uh, heel hook type motion. And we stretch like that. Um, to really try and get some flexibility in that range. Point your foot down, so not back like this, okay? No one does a toe hold like that. Usually the, the foot is pointed down and, and rotated, so mimic that same action. And last one, actually the, we wanna stretch our forefoot, okay? So not just the ankle pointing down, but our forefoot here can, can bend. So I tend to sort of like uh, lock off on top of the heel. And I'm, this is for more like straight ankle locks and curling my foot down like this, okay? So the more flexible I can be this way, the harder it is for them to get leverage to, to finish, or they'll, they'll meet their end range before they can actually apply pressure to, to get any injury to my, to my foot or ankle. There we go, guys. Thanks, Slim. <laughs> no worries. <laughs>